And to give you all a background, in our manifesto, we have clearly stated that Telangana state has been formed after 45 years of struggle. Telangana state, manne ke liye kitne logon ki minnate, they have sacrificed their whole lives to attain this statehood for Telangana. And if the statehood, if for the state to prosper, isko aage badne ka hai, to people have to come forward and work. And Telangana Prajna Samiti has taken the step forward. We have drafted a manifesto that addresses the needs of the communist person who is living in Telangana. The first point that we have raised is Telangana, there is no place for import Telangana politics for any criminal. Point one, nobody has raised this. If you are looking at the political scenario in India and even in the state today, you see all political parties vying with each other, fighting with each other to give tickets to candidates who they feel can get votes by money or by bullet or by intimidation. Telangana Prajna Samiti has clearly stated we are against this and we will not give any ticket to a person with criminal past. Point one. The second point is Telangana state will be a success only if there is political participation across all levels of societies, across all strata of society and development and entrepreneurship development at the grassroots level. If you are talking about giving tickets to a person who can spend four to six crores in any election, it is not free money. Any person who is contesting this election, who is contesting this election, who is contesting election, charity ke liye nahi laga raha wo ye soch ke laga raha are main ek mahine mein 4 crore laga raha hu main 5 saal mein 40 50 crore to kamaunga where is this money going 40 crores and 60 crores or even in some cases 400 4000 4 lakh crores whose money is it the money is ours it's my money it's your money it's his money telangana praja samiti is against spending money against giving tickets to money classes restricting giving of tickets to money classes we have contested fielded our candidates in 10 constituencies, assembly constituencies in Telangana. And all the people are from the middle class background. Even the parties that say we stand for the common man, they have not given their tickets to the common man. They have given their tickets only to people who have the money, who have the muscle power to fight elections. Now we come to the manifesto. The first point we have raised in the manifesto is Telangana Praja Samiti will not relinquish even one inch of its land. That includes the 145 villages that are there in Khammam. We will fight tooth and nail to stop this transfer of villages. Point number two, we have said that the people who have fought for Telangana, they should be rewarded. Khali koi leader Telangana ke liye nahi lada ya kisi ki family Telangana ke liye nahi lada. Students lada government employees lade, budha bhi lada saath saal ko or chhe saal ka bachcha bhi lada. Ye sabon ko Telangana ka benefit chahiye. The first benefit we are saying is people who have fought for Telangana in 1969, they should be given government pension. Point number two that we have stated is, this year they have been, in all the fora that I have attended, people have raised the question, they have raised doubts on how the correction for the people who are appearing for these exams are going to be. We have seen last year, we have seen year before last two years, three years, people from students from Telangana have been deliberately failed. You came to know that once you went for recorrection, the person was very confident, I have done well, I, I will go for recorrection, he got good marks. This year, because of this vindictive nature and because of the enmity that has been brought in within the people who are evaluating, we have said that 2013 and 14 years will be declared a zero failure. This happened in 1970 by Kasu Brahman and Reddy. This will happen in 2014, wherein no student who is appearing for SSC, intermediate degree, PG will be failed. Point number two. The second point, third point that we have raised is for the people who are working in industry, for the people who have who are studying. The only way development can happen if there is the if, if you have schools, not only schools, you have good English speaking schools which are promoted by the government. You have schools in Singapore, you have schools worldwide, government schools. Very few people send their children to for, uh, uh, private schools. And to do this, why is there government schools?
स्कूल में जो सैलरी आप देते हैं तो सैलरी होती है टीचर की पच्चीस हजार से तीस हजार पाँच हजार बीस हजार प्राइवेट स्कूल में एक टीचर की सैलरी होती है बारह हजार पंद्रह हजार पाँच हजार तीस हजार भी फिर भी लोग अपने बच्चों को प्राइवेट स्कूल में डालते हैं गवर्नमेंट स्कूल में इसीलिए नहीं डालते कि पहले वहाँ पे पढ़ाई बराबर नहीं होती और दूसरी बात यह है कि वहाँ पे लोग जान ही नहीं पसंद करते लेकिन अगर आप ये बोले कि हम ये बोल रहे हैं जो भी गवर्नमेंट स्कूल में पढ़ाएगा आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स ऑफ सर्विस सिक्स इयर्स ऑफ सर्विस बेस्ड ऑन पास परसेंटेज रेट दीज टीचर्स विल बी एलिजिबल फॉर गवर्नमेंट फंडेड फर्दर एजुकेशन इन अ फॉरेन यूनिवर्सिटी दैट इज द इंसेंटिव जब तक आप इंसेंटिव नहीं देंगे तो कोई टीचर गवर्नमेंट स्कूल में पढ़ाने के लिए राजी नहीं रहेगी वो लोग यही सोचेंगे कि मैं जाऊंगी साइन मारूंगी सैलरी लेके आ जाऊंगी इंसेंटिव इज इन इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ हाइयर पास रेट्स and in terms of higher attendance in schools that is the point that telangana praja samiti has put in its manifesto third fourth point on health care today we say that hyderabad people come from across the world to hyderabad for health for medical tourism sadly people in hyderabad many of many of us who are there in middle class or middle class families we Fear to go to a hospital or to a doctor because of the high fees. If you look at the monies that are being spent by the government in supporting these private medical hospitals, in, in by Arogya Sri schemes, different schemes, land grants, funds grants, the same amount of money if it is put up in a government hospital, it will no middle class man will have to resort go to a corporate hospital. The government hospital can provide the best medical care. and no private hospital no private funding can match government funding worldwide that is another point that we have and we have said that to promote education opportunities and professional education opportunities we will have an engineering college and a government medical college in all district headquarters and not only a medical college it is a super specialty medical college or hospital in all districts plus a medical hospital on the lines in hyderabad for water we have clearly stated telangana praja samiti will fight to reclaim all the lost lakes and water resources and tank resources which have been forcibly right let off and built upon for commercial purposes we will reclaim all lakes we will augment the water supply link in river linking is a very big idea but hyderabad and other states have flourished through tank cultivation you take the case of maharashtra maharashtra has the maximum number of dams on every river but the dams never get filled even in the rainy season it only benefits the few contractors who build the dams it is tank based cultivation lake based cultivation and drinking water which is the future another point that telangana praja samiti has put in its manifesto is the setting up of a solar energy park in telangana this is the only political party which talks about promoting renewable or no and non conventional sources of energy apart from this the youth of today get into government service they are good they get into private service some companies many companies they employ people the person works for 5 months 6 months 8 months after that after some time the company doesn't pay private companies don't pay salaries on time some companies don't even pay salaries for one year 6 months on time not only small companies i'm even talking about big companies what does the private employee do he has already taken a bank loan he has his family to support he has his children to support he has to give their fees no political party has addressed the concern of the private employees telangana praja samiti says we will set up a salary assurance fund for employees who are working in private companies and where the company fails to provide salaries support salary equal to the basic amount for 3 months during which they can search for another job plus for the farmers they are affected on three grounds the first is unavailability of credit or if it is available it is at very high interest rates plus the farmers are forced to buy seeds from companies and the seed companies they have 
the promote GMCs. Okay? And the third is the weather. Whether you can't do anything. But the first two issues, yes, you can do Telangana Praja Samiti promises to set up a corpus fund of 1,500 crores to help the farmers in procuring seeds. Plus, it also will float a crop insurance scheme for the farmers in liaison with the seed manufacturing com companies where any seed company will have to specify what are the conditions you, which are suitable for this crop to grow, for these seeds to grow. It is temperature, it is availability of water. And if everything is within these parameters, and if the crop fails, the seed company will have to pay the fine. Because they cannot just sell the seed and go away. You are not only having, it is not a business transaction. The life of a farmer, his entire life, the life of the nation depends on a successful crop. And this we firmly believe in. Apart from this, Security of women is an issue that is of topmost concern in Hyderabad and across India. Telangana Praja Samiti promises that it will set up Rani Rudrama Devi camps, which will provide training for the women in self-defense and also life skills. Plus, a tri you cannot address the issues of a tribe. Tribal concerns are different from the concerns that we have here in the city or elsewhere. To address these issues, to develop a holistic plan for tribal development, Telangana Praja Samiti will, has proposed that it will set up a tribal development council, which will look at preserving the culture for the tribes, providing them education, provide helping them integrate with the society at large, yet retain their individual culture, as is prevalent with the tribes in the American country and even in Australia. You have people who are from the tribes, they, they enter the Senate, but they are, they also preserve their culture. So this is what we want, that the political scene for entry to politics, entry to the assembly, entry to parliament in Telangana is free for all. Anybody, even a, the lowest person can aspire to be the chief minister of Telangana, he, not only the son or daughter of one particular individual or one particular family. These are in short some issues that Telangana Praja Samiti has put in its manifesto and I would request you all to read it and support us wherever our candidate is standing for election. And also, we have a vision to develop Telangana, not for the next five years, but for 2050, we need your support. Without your support, we have, we can't do anything. We have taken the step. Now you have to join your step with us. Only then can we achieve a Telangana that we have all aspired for. Jai Telangana. Jai.